on December 31st, 2011, and after signing the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2012 into law, President Obama issued a statement on addressing certain provisions that regulate the detention, interrogation, and prosecution of terrorism suspects. So, according to this legislation, who is a terrorist suspect? Let's see what it says. An associated force, as we interpret the phrase, has two characteristics to it. One, an organized armed group that has entered the fight alongside Al-Qaeda, and two, is a co-belligerent with Al-Qaeda in hostilities against the United States or its coalition partners. In other words, the group must not only be aligned with Al-Qaeda, it must also have entered into the fight against the United States or its coalition partners. Let's not forget that the 2012 NDAA introduced a provision that allows the military to detain United States citizens indefinitely without charge or trial just for the mere suspicion of ties to terrorism. I think those definitions supply enough ammunition to indict the following under the NDAA. Secretary Hillary Clinton for facilitating arms trades with the enemy in the Middle East. Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, the FSA, and we can lump the Muslim Brotherhood into that as well. Eric Holder for supplying arms to the Mexican drug cartel who's killed hundreds of thousands of people in that country. President Barack Hussein Obama and his entire administration for facilitating these arms trades. All presidential appointments to the CIA who, under the direction of this administration, collaborated with the enemy. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta for assisting the enemy while our troops were killed in Benghazi. President George W. Bush, for on the day of 9-11, he whisked the, the Bin Laden family out of the country secretively. As I watched Hillary Clinton testify, or I should say, lie through her teeth about what she knew or did not know, at the Benghazi hearings, I was sickened that this is what our country's become the hypocrisy of government. I say we put out arrest orders now under the National Defense Authorization Act and pick each and every one of these traitors up and lock them away indefinitely, just like it says in the executive order Obama signed on December 31st, 2011.